Hello everybody, how are we all doing today? Great, awesome. Now, as you all may or may not can tell from the video, we're here to talk about this guy. This guy right here, this guy with the melanin. Is that all you've got? Tired old racism? I thought we were past the And, um, me personally, I think this guy's pretty cringe, you know. But, uh, I'm not here to talk about anything that everybody else and their mothers have talked about already i'm personally here to read a few things this is reading with chronicle everybody and today we're going to be looking at a bunch of the comments from ksi's new song thick of it we're just going to be reading the comments and what everybody has to say about this song instead of me giving my personal opinion on ksi and how much i think his he personally just sucks as a human being and the people around him suck I'm going to be reading all the comments under his new song. And as much as I would love to play the new song for you guys, everybody who plays it gets claimed by this dude's company. So sadly, I can't show you guys how dog water the song is, but I think that's personally for the best. You guys can just watch memes and such so you guys can know about that for yourselves. I'll maybe get into a little bit, maybe show some more cooler things as well throughout this video, but that's mainly what we're here for. And let's get into it, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy the ride. My guy was clearly on lunch when went making this. Yeah, and he was listening to the Hawk to a podcast too while he was at it. 0% drugs, 0% nudity, 0% profanity, 400 milligrams of electrolyte. Ah yes, Prime, the drink that he chooses to shoo in so hardly. Hey, um, guys, just like a quick PSA to anybody who cares about their body. Don't drink Prime. Like, just, just don't do it. Just don't. Top 10 SCPs in real life, ah, uh, song. I mean, yeah, this song is pretty terrifying. I agree, I agree. I think this would make most SCPs shudder in fear. This shit is probably gonna get used in Roblox exploit tutorial videos. Yeah, I could honestly see it, and like somebody using this like a YouTube intro as well. I, I could see it, I could see it. Also, now this one's just a little, like, little nudge from me. This is just a little personal, like, a little favorite thing from me that I like from all of this. Apparently, some people saw this song. Some people, uh, in the Friday Night Funkin' Sonic.exe community, <laughs> that's where I got the image from you saw in the first part of the video, and they made their own version of Thick of It, and it, it's kind of crazy how well these, like, these people, <laughs> I should say these people, but the people in this community are better, are better musicians than KSI. <laughs> <laughs> because even though this song is about Sonic's EXE, they somehow still managed to make it sound pretty good and actually, like, the lyrics actually sound like they actually make sense in a bit of ways. <laughs> like, it actually sounds decent. The best thing alive, everybody knows. They follow when I run, I show speed like a pro. Now I hear a noise, a voice that tells me I'm fake. Puts me in a rage, I ask, would you like to play? From my quills to my eyes, do you never ending lies? No, there's no need to hide, feel the rush and joy to ride. See, I believe that if you stay within my zone, you'll keep on running, but you'll never be alone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. At your heart, I shall set free. Lock to the stock to the mock to the pock to the <laughs> This song helped me with my depression and it made me realize how much worse things could be. Yeah. Yeah, you could be KSI right now getting shit on by the entire internet. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Things could always be worse. And the crowd fucking shot themselves. This is so epic. <laughs> oh my god. My maid is paralyzed from the neck down, and he got up, <laughs> and he got up, turned this song off after 20 seconds. Well, damn. Well, KSI, your song is actually really great. It helped, <laughs> it helped paralyze people finally <laughs> cure their own paralyzation. Your song is a godsend, bro. Zero, 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 one seconds in already ass <laughs> this man is great <laughs> man just loves to hate man just loves to be a hater he's just in it for the <laughs> he's just in it for the fun of the game bro took a 1.5 year long break from music and came back with this take two years next time <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> you know you know what you know you're actually you know what you're on the line but you're kind of right pretty confident he got <laughs> He got ChatGPT to write him a cool rap song. 
as as funny as that would be, nah, nah. This is clearly something he would write about himself. The ego in this song is just too insane for it not to be just like his own like little song that he just like wrote while he was <laughs> beating himself to it as well. They could use this to get confessions out of serial killers. Honestly, I believe it. I 100% believe it. They, <laughs> I feel like you could get anybody to say anything just to not listen to this song. All right, now just a little bit of an outro for me. Now I'm gonna be honest with you guys when it comes to this song. I don't really even think that like is this is the ba like the worst thing in the world. Like I do think some of the hate is obviously like kind of like forced as well. If you combine it with the fact that everything that's been happening with KSI, him like shitting on Dan TDM, the fact that he's working with two of the most controversial figures in the world, Mr. Beast and Logan Paul. Along with the fact that he's kind of just an insufferable, egotistical asshole. It's kind of, it's kind of like, this is gonna just some, this is just gonna be something that just naturally happens. Like, I can't think of like anybody in this instance that after everything that's happened who would like KSI and who would like support him. And he, he just comes off as like a very insufferable, egotistical asshole. So many times, so many times. Like, I even remember one time where he was just, like, made a tweet about talking about, like, how he can't be hacked. Like, some egotistical thing like that. I'll probably, like, post it if I can find it. And then not too long after this, he posts a tweet about how he did get hacked. It's just, like, what are you expecting to happen at that point? It's just, like, yeah, no shit, you're good. No shit. No shit no one likes you right now. But yeah, other than laughing at all, like the funny stuff from this, that's basically just my little like two cents from this whole thing. If you like the video, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, I love you. Goodbye.